you, Lord. Thank you. Somebody help me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Eva Shate. Thank you, Lord. I said, thank you. Tell him, thank you, Darius. Tell him, thank you, Jemaya. Your dad is saved. My son is saved. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Lord, have your way. Ah, yes. My soul says yes. My heart says yes. My mind says yes. My will says yes. Yes, Lord. Somebody help me. Yes, Lord. You got a hand wave in here. Y'all gonna help me out this morning. Go touch somebody. See, only the strong survive. Get up and go touch somebody. They say only the strong survive. We thought they gonna make it. strengthen you the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees say to them that are of a fearful heart be strong fear not behold your God will come with vengeance even God with a recompense he will come and save you. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, sir. Save Only you. the strong. Come out, come out. Come on, yes, yes, yes. Preach, Pastor. God bless you all. God bless you, Pastor. 
I won't be before you long. You all know that our 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 deacon, Deacon Ephraim, Ronald Charles Ephraim, is fighting for his life even as we speak. And the prognosis is not good. But saints are praying for him all over the United States of America. Yes, sir. Amen. And we know God works miracles. Yes, sir. But just in case Come on, he doesn't yes, sir. raise him up, yes, sir. he's saved. Yes, sir. From 30 years of alcoholism and other things, God delivered him. And he worked diligently in the church for four, over 14 years. And just because you're drunk, let me remind you all, that don't mean you forgot God and God didn't forget you. Because if you had her, I wouldn't be here. Only the strong survive. Survival is important. Survival does not always mean in view of confrontation that you won. Survival only means that you live through some stuff. Yes, sir. I'm happy that my granddaughter, Jemiah, is here. She's about 16 years old now. I believe 15, 17. Amen. My daughter, when they were in the military and they were in Hawaii, I sent my daughter, we sent my daughter, VJ, out there when she was a baby to take care of her while her mother, who was in the military, was deployed to the overseas, to the war zone. Stand up, Sister Michelle. Let people see who you are. Amen. She's the mother of my son's children. Amen. 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 These are here today. Deacon Ephraim had five children. Amen. Two daughters, three sons. You guys, you got to be strong enough, Minister Campbell. Uh, all of the ministers in the pulpit, thank you all for being here, Deacon Allen. I know you miss him sitting over there. You got to, you got to be strong enough to live through some tragedies. Yes, sir. You got to live through some things when others don't make it. Sometimes, in arguments or fights, you don't win, but you survive. Yes, sir. A lot of people don't really know what it means to survive. It means you're strong enough physically, strong enough spiritually to stand the test. But we are living in a day now, if you can't take it, you can't make it. Amen. We're living in a hostile world. Amen. We're living in a world that is full of cruelty, jealousy. My God. And a lot of that's in the church. Jesus. There was a time when I thought that there should not be any misunderstandings in the church. There was a time when I thought that everybody ought to get along. Yes, sir. We felt like we were mistaken, but we felt like there shouldn't be any hypocrites in the church. Yeah. But the church is the place for hypocrites to learn how to quit hypocriting. Yes, there was a time when we thought everybody ought to be real 
that everybody in the church ought to grow. Until I read what it, the apostle said that in the last days, men shall be lovers of themselves. They're going to be mean. And he wasn't talking about men on the outside of the church. He was talking about folks in the church. Jeremy Ephraim, I'm talking about survival. Some people survive. Or some folk press forward only when things are going well. Some people can't function under pressure. They like to brag about how much they love the church and what the church means to them. But it's hard for me to understand how you can love the church and stay away from it so long. Even if from my son and I thank God for my other son used to be deacon, but he's minister now, elder now. Deacon Ephraim was at the church in the morning, in the middle of the day, he come make sure everything was all right for y'all doing noonday prayer. Made sure that it, there was supplies here in the church in case somebody forgot. Anything you love, y'all with me? You want to be around it. And when I was taken into the hospital and he was losing his coherence, all he could do is that he wanted, he was thinking about his children. And he already had taken care of his church stuff for the anniversary and for Sunday. He'd done it already. Something that tells that your love is real. You take care of it. Yes, yes. I hear folks, they gone home to watch the football game. Uh -huh. They do that because they love football. Come on, I love basketball. So I like to watch basketball. If you like baseball, you like the diamond. If you like football, you like the field. Amen. You like basketball, you like the gym. Yeah, come on. If you like dog racing, you like the track. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Y'all, don't don't sit in here and act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Come on, come on. If you like slot machines, you go to Cripple Creek, uh, Las Vegas. Don't lie, we in church. A lot of stuff folk talking about wrong. God ain't thinking about that. He wonder whether you love each other or not. Amen. Look at somebody say, only the strong survive. Oh, yeah. Don't nobody ought to have to beg you to come see about them if you love them. Amen. You shouldn't have to beg a man who loves you to call you on the phone. Okay. Oh God, help me. The law should not have to make a man support his family if he really loves them. Actions speak louder than words. And talk is cheap. It takes money to buy land. A lot of folks say that they love me. But I, I have to wonder sometimes when I never see them on pastoral day. I know who really loved me. Y'all in here now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody say amen. amen. I know, amen, that you have to eat to be strong. Come on, come on. But you got to eat the right food. Come on. And what has puzzled me is how people can stay away from the spiritual table so long and then come into church and shout more than other folk. <laughs> I think they're shouting in the midst of their guilt. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. thank you. If you stay away from the table, you get weak physically. And if you don't get some spiritual food in your body, you get weak. Yeah. But I would hope now, 
We're strong enough spiritually to tell one another in love that you got to go to church. My grandson came in my office this morning and said, Papa, you got to preach now. I wanna, we want to hear you preach. And, and I said, well, I may not be able to do much of anything else, but I believe I'm going to ask God to help me. Let me preach. Because that's what I do. That's right, Pastor. Amen. He made me what I am. That's right. You ought to be strong enough here to pay your tithes. Come on, yes, sir. You ought to be strong enough now to tell each other to stop running each other down. Amen. You got to do more than just talk love. Yes. Amen. You got to show love. Yes, sir. Somewhere along the line, we as growing saints of God have to begin to really practice what we've been teaching and preaching and reading. Yeah. Love your neighbor as yourself. Yes. I came by today to tell you that yes, we're hurting. Yes, but in the midst of our pain, yes, sir, we call on the Lord. Yes. We got to be sincere and dedicated if we're going to fight against the force that has invaded our church and our nation. Yes, yes, yes. Every day you turn on your TV set, you find the leader of the free world vilifying anything that he doesn't agree with. Yes. We pray for him yes, every yes. Sunday yes, yes. that God would change things. Yes, yes. And the reason we pray is we know mm -hmm. that God can do it. Yes, we know that you can't make it now if you're not strong. Amen. The pandemic, COVID is spiking everywhere. everywhere. But God, I believe, is going to put a covering around us. Yes. Strong yes. is opposite of the weak. People don't know what it means to be strong. They think you're strong when you shout a lot. Ain't nothing wrong with shouting, but you got to have something what you're shouting about. Dancing and clapping your hands is liberty that comes from practicing what you preach. I see Sister Laura shouting and praising the Lord. But she going through, uh, have gone through cancer. Yes, yes. And she ain't never quit praising God. Yes, <laughs> That's strong. Yes, sir. Sister Hastings. Oh, yeah, yeah. Elder Hastings is crossed over. And all of us are hurting. Yes, yes, yes. But she ain't missed a step. Yes, she keep praying. And yes. She keep supporting. And she keep on helping. Mother Blackwell, some years ago, my friend, my traveling friend, world traveling friend, Dr. Bishop Raymond Blackwell Sr. crossed over. But Mother Blackwell ain't never stopped praising the Lord. You got to be strong to deal with some things. And you got to have something inside of you that goes beyond folk coming by patting you on your back. Yeah. 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 Amen. Somebody help me say only the strong, only the strong. survive. Yeah. survive. Yeah. Strong stands up when other things fall down. Yeah. That's too much weakness around. You got weak folk that's always talking negativity. Yeah. 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 You need to get away from them. Yeah. Because too much weakness will make you weak. Yeah. Weakness disrupts churches. Yes. Weakness is dangerous. Yes. And it causes confusion. Weak folk find folk fault in other folk to cover up their weakness. Yeah. Our society is so 
full of opposition today until nothing weak can really stand. You got to make up your mind yes, yes. Amen. that I'm going to make it in spite of. Amen. I'm going to make it in spite of the fact that my husband died. I'm going to make it in spite of the fact that he walked away and left me by myself with these children. I'm going to make it in, in spite of the fact that she won't treat me right and I'm just trying my best to hold on. You got to make your mind up that I'm going to make it in spite of the fact that they mistreated me on my job. I'm going to make your mind up and I'm going to make it in spite of the fact that my friends turn their backs on me. I made up my mind. I said I made up my mind. Made up my mind. In spite of being mistreated by the police. I will bless the Lord at all times. I made up my mind in spite of being lonely sometimes. I made up my mind that there are some that don't want me to have what I want. Yes. Oh, I know who I serve. Yes. I came by to tell you, in spite of everything falling down around us, God is. I said, God is. Get on the throne. And can't nobody. I said, can't nobody. Do you like Jesus? He's stronger. I said, he's stronger than death is. I, 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 I know. I said, we're strong, God. And if. I said, if. I said, he will make a way out of no way. I came by to tell you, the God I serve, he's able to make dumb tongues speak. He's able to make the deaf hear. He's able to turn blind eyes where they can see again. I know that he can do it. As he cried out to him on the road, Lord, don't pass me by. Somebody in the room right now, I know you got problems, but right now, you ought to say, Father, here I am. I need you. But when Jesus picked him up, he got up and was praising God. Somebody in this room, you need to raise your faith and say, Lord, here I am. The God 
we serve is stronger than death. For he raised Lazarus from a four-day-old grave. Death reached out to and got Abraham. Death reached out to God Isaac. Death reached out and got Ezekiel and the other prophets. Yes, but the God that we serve, they put him in a bar of tomb. Because he knew he wasn't going to be there but three days. The God we serve, he got up.
Bravo, Mosca.
Come on, sister, tell me I'm thinking. She's got you through the water. 